Hi and welcome. My name is Dr. John Mason and I founded the Stress Education Center in 1978. The Stress Education Center was designed to coach individuals or to train organizations in how best to manage stress. Today what we're going to talk about is how we can use temperature training biofeedback to monitor your physiology and to control uh, stress and it can lead to certain symptoms. But first let me talk a little bit about what biofeedback is. In the 1970s, researchers were monitoring different parts of physiology, including brain waves, heart rate, blood pressure, muscle tension, and they learned that any system that can be monitored or measured, um, an individual can learn to control that system. The reason why this is so important in stress management is because we have systems that are triggered by the stress response called the flight-fight response. Sometimes this happens unconsciously. Things like increasing heart rate, blood pressure, muscle tension, blood flow, uh, brainwave activity. And any of these systems that we can monitor, you can learn to control and reverse the uh, habituated uh, response of holding on to, uh, on to tension. So temperature training biofeedback is a very simple form of using a thermometer like this and monitoring hand temperature or foot temperature so you can control your physiology and uh, control your stress. Let's talk about why that's important. In that flight-fight response, we have a survival mechanism that prepares us to fight or to flee to save our lives. If we were in a life or death situation and we were having to fight or to flee to save our lives, there would be less likelihood of us bleeding to death if we get cut in the act of fighting or fleeing. And so there is a constriction of blood flow to the surface of the skin in the hands and the feet. Many people will notice when they're under stress that their hands or feet will get cold. Have you ever been in a social situation like a party or before a presentation and when you shake hands with people you notice that maybe one person's hands are very cool or one person may be warm in comparison with you. Now the types of symptoms that can uh, manifest as a response of holding stress in that system can be things like uh, stress-related high blood pressure, um, poor circulation into the hands and the feet, which could lead to something as severe as a, a, a thing called uh, Raynaud's syndrome. Migraine or vascular headaches can be created or made worse as part of this response. Uh, panic or anxiety, which a lot of people will experience, will manifest as far as cold hands and feet. Um, other kinds of cardiovascular problems like irregular or rapid heartbeat can be related to this system as well. So our job is to use temperature training biofeedback to make you aware, number one, of where you're holding stress or tension in that system and then giving you the objective information on how you can let go of stress. Now how do you do temperature training biofeedback? It's very simple. You would get a thermometer, very simple thermometer, and you might tape it to the side of your finger and then it will read your, your hand temperature. In the years that I've been doing this I've seen the coolest hands that I've ever monitored are 65 degrees Fahrenheit and the warmest hand temperature I've ever monitored is 97 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to fall somewhere in that range. If you do temperature training biofeedback you put it on the middle joint of your index finger and what you're going to find is that your hand temperature will run somewhere between the high 60s and perhaps the lower mid 90s. What we want to do is we want you to allow yourself to let go and to warm your hands. Let the vasodilation occur in those blood vessels. You want to warm your hands to 93 to 95 degrees. Once you've done that, then you're not holding stress in that system. Now there are many people who will find rather miraculous results uh, like reducing or eliminating migraine headaches, their blood pressures going down, um, definitely controlling panic or anxiety, sometimes emotions like anger or rage. These kind of things can be minimized if not eliminated if you can learn to relax and it will manifest as far as increasing your hand temperature. Once you've developed that skill then you will have the ability to control physical and emotional symptoms. Now in order to do that there's a couple of other things that you need to know about. Putting a, a thermometer on your hand is a good way of learning how to relax, but you also might want to invest 
in listening to guided relaxation exercises. Exercises such as autogenic training phrases or visualization or imagery, some meditation styles. These will enhance that experience and help you to learn how you can translate that, how you can take that warming experience um, with you into day-to-day -day life and you can minimize the impact of stress that's held in this system and control the stress and control your symptoms. Okay, if you need to know more information, you can visit the Stress Education Center's website at www.destress.com because we have a list of articles and we have a list of resources and materials like audio programs where you can learn to not only relax but to manage the stress in this particular system. My challenge to you is that you really begin to, to, to use these techniques and, and find the one that works best for you and then use it regularly so that you can control the stress, you can minimize the uh, symptoms that you may be experiencing, and you can improve the quality of your life. Again, this is Dr. John Mason at the Stress Education Center. Thank you for spending your few minutes with me. Good luck to you and good health.